I sang that song for more than 60 years, a song of praise to Joseph Smith, the prophet of the restoration and founder of the LDS Church, the church I served as a bishop for five years. I knew the church was true. I was a faithful Latter-day Saint. My life has been built on certain truths, but wishing doesn't change the truth. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. When I finally learned the truth about the real history and doctrines of Mormonism, I realized that I was following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. I have come to learn that many others have made a similar journey out of the bondage of religion and into an authentic relationship with Jesus. And that's what this show is all about. Courageous people who want to share their story hoping that you, the viewer, will discover the same new life in Jesus. So if you're a Latter-day Saint who is struggling with questions or seeking a genuine encounter with the Savior, we invite you to join us tonight. We have a joyful message that we want to share with you. Hi, and welcome to the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Earl. I appreciate you spending some time watching our show. We appreciate you uh, and your support. Uh, tonight, I'm happy to, to welcome Julio Munoz. Thanks for coming and sharing your story with us. Thanks for having me. You're actually a convert to the church. I guess we'll get into that in a minute, but uh, tell us a little bit about where you were born and your family and sure. so on. Sure. Uh, I was born in El Salvador, in San Salvador, uh, back in 78. And I grew up there until I was uh, 10. And then my dad moved us to California. Oh. And then the rest of the family came with us too. And, and we just kind of made California, <laughs> Los Angeles area our home. And um, I have an older brother and an older sister. Oh, good. They all live in the States, but we're all kind of all over the place now. Yeah. Yeah. What brought you to, to Utah? Is that part of the early part of the story? Or? <laughs> Well, um, you, did you graduate in high school? Yeah, I guess, so I went to there? I went to fifth grade up to I finished up high school in California, and okay. then after after high school, I wanted to try new things. And um, my family had some family friends here in Utah, and I'm like, well, maybe I'll try this uh, Utah place, you know. <laughs> yeah. And uh, now, was your family religious there in California and um, El Salvador? A, a little bit. I mean, my my dad he claimed to be Catholic, and my mom was Christian, but we didn't go on a regular basis. Okay. Was uh, the Bible much a part of life there in your family? Much? It, it was. Yeah. It was. Um, I knew the Bible. I, you know, I, I knew the gospel. I, I, you know, I, I knew the name Jesus Christ. Sure. I knew about the cross. <laughs> uh, you know, but when you're young, you don't, you don't yeah. pay attention to those yeah. things, right? Yeah. You want to do what that's, you want to do. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so eventually after high school, then you decide to... To move to Utah, just to try new things. And, yeah. uh, I actually was going to move back because I was running out of money, uh, and I didn't know anybody, so I was kind of lonely. Yeah. Uh, but then I, I got a job, and then I met uh, my future-to-be wife and, and just settled in Utah. Okay, interesting. Now, is she, uh, she LDS? Yes, yeah, she grew up LDS. We're going to probably meet her later. I, I think, think so, yeah. Yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> yeah. But is she, um, or, or so, so you just worked here and just decided to stay in Salt Lake? And yeah, so this was uh, March of 98. I was thinking of just moving back and just living with my, my brother, you know, or, or other family. My mom was in L.A. at the time. Yeah. Uh, but then I'm like, well, I'll try to get a job here and see what works out. So then I, I got a job, and I, in a way, I've been there ever since, even now. Oh, um, I've, right. you know, I've gone through different jobs, but basically it's the same company in a yeah. way. Had you met many LDS people at this point? Uh, not either, a lot. Not either a in lot. California or here, I guess you met some. Right. I've, I've heard of Mormonism in California, but I didn't really know any, anybody. Yeah. And when I moved here, obviously it's popular, and uh, uh, but I didn't really know anybody um, until I met my wife. <laughs> met, met your wife. Yeah. And how was that? Was she... Uh, um, she active LDS. I she guess. was active yeah. LDS, yeah. Uh, but you know, I think she wanted to be open-minded uh, okay. about um, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Fell in love with you, I guess. Yeah, and, you know. Yeah. So did she try to 
tell you about the church? And uh, she, I mean, she told me she was LDS, and she told me a little bit about it. Um, that she's gone through seminary, and you know, yeah. she that she'd done baptisms for the dead, and her yeah. parents were were converts themselves because okay. you know they're she's first generation American. Okay. Uh, her parents are European, but. Uh, um, I didn't really claim religion at the time. I was, I was, I sort of claimed Christian, but I didn't really have a conviction. Okay. So, so eventually, though, you you start studying the Mormon Church and right. right? What, so, I mean, what you prompted know, that? Well, so we we dated, and then eventually we got married, and we then bought a house, mm. and so we we you know Julio settles down right in Utah, <laughs> and. Uh, one day, the LDS missionaries came over to the to our new house, and uh, they wanted to share you know, a message with me. And I said, "Well, I'm kind of busy right now, so maybe come back in a month." And and they they kept their commitment and well, came they, back they in a came month. Back. Yeah. And you know, I wanted to. I'm like, well, I know about Jesus. We should be good people, and so maybe since since my wife is uh, LDS and they talk about Jesus and they seem like nice people, then yeah. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, kind of a thing. Yeah. Did you notice any differences at all? Uh, I mean, what they were teaching, or uh, did that anything strike you differently? Not, uh, not at first. Um, at first, you know, they they keep it pretty simple. So it's sure. Jesus, Jesus, and, and temples, and and bishop, and, and and they call you brother, and and yeah, all those things yeah. that are similar to to <laughs> now that I know what Christians. The culture, Christian culture, is right. they 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 seem to try to imitate it. Yeah, know? yeah. But so at first, no, I didn't, and that's the whole point. Yeah. You know, that's why I kind of went along with it. it was kinda, well, there's similarities, so I think yeah. I should be fine. What did they tell you about Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon? <clears throat> well, that uh, that he, you know, that he restored the church because it had fallen away and there was nobody, you know, uh, worthy. I guess. Yeah, nobody had any authority. Uh, nobody had any yeah. authority to to basically keep the church going. Right. Um, and at the time, I I would say that I, even though I knew about being a Christian and I and I, I knew about the Bible and I knew about Jesus Christ, I would say that I didn't really know my word very well. You know, I didn't yeah. know the true gospel very well. Yeah. So did you read the Book of Mormon? I read I read some of it. Uh, I'm not the biggest reader, but but I did I did read it, um, and I did. We'd had him over uh, for for. I was an investigator, right? So we had him sure. over at the house, and they went through all the lessons. And my wife was there with me. Um, she I never, she was happy, wasn't she? She was you happy. Studying yeah, she was learning. never pushy, but she was she was yeah. happy that we were settling down, yeah. and and you know I was converting, and that we were going to be happy yeah. being Mormon. So you eventually get baptized. I, went, I got baptized in uh, July of 2001. And, uh, and from there, we, we were pretty regular at attending. Yeah. Just active and... Just active. Uh, so I got baptized and then I got my ironic priesthood, right? Yeah. Passed the sacrament and pa stuff, did Passed you? the sacrament. <laughs> you know, I was working towards, yeah. obviously, uh, getting my other priesthood and all those the Melchizedek things. Melchizedek priesthood. Yes, and right. Then be able to go to the temple. And yep. I was, I wanted to, to, to do it. Um, yeah. But at the same time, it's, it's almost like, it almost seemed like, okay, well, something seems different from what I kind of seen or what I thought Christianity was. At church, in lessons, what uh, uh, was different? At, at church, um, and just kind of the doctrine and doctrines and teachings. Yeah, anything uh, specific? Um, well, I think um, one of them was the fact that you had to get baptized to be a member. Oh. That was kind of different. Um, and did you sense that you were being baptized into the church? Or as a... I don't know how to phrase that exactly, but you, when you're being baptized, you're being baptized as a member of the church, as opposed to acknowledging Christ and His work yes, and what I, He yeah, did. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yes, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Exactly. That's so. That was a difference. Yeah. Versus, I'm, I'm becoming a member of the church. Right. Through this baptism. Exactly. So yeah. that that was a difference, but I I overlooked it because it was still yeah. under the you know Jesus Christ. Yeah. Plus, you're learning and you're you're right. trying to yeah. You know, right. So uh, yeah, because at first, uh, you know, they well, the est will teach you certain things, but as you as you progress or as you're there longer, then you learn other things. Right? Yeah. 
so. you learn more about the definition t sometimes of some words as well. So, That's right. Yeah. yeah. So what happens? You, you're active and, and uh, busy, I guess, in church and callings. Now, usually a convert to the church is kind of used as, you know, people are encouraged when people join the church. Mm -hmm. Did they invite you to bear your testimony I, and I talk did. a lot? And yeah, I did once, and, and it seemed like people were pretty... Uh, eager to hear what I had to say. Sure, I think sure. everybody actually was like quiet for a second. I think yeah. I remember even the kids stopped crying. Yeah. You know, I went up there and... Uh, uh, because this is someone who's now right. joined the church and right. has become kind of, yeah. Right. I bore my testimony and I, yeah. you know, I, I love the name Jesus Christ. So I'm like, well, this is who we're talking about here. So, sure. I, so I went ahead and bore my testimony. Okay. So... So what happens after that? So we, you know, we moved. So we went to a different ward. Um, we, ended up, we sold the house, so we moved. We moved neighborhoods, and so I, you know, went to a, a different ward. And from there, I started, you know, hanging out with the uh, elders' quorum, you know, and and helping out there, and also just, you know, getting involved in games and activities and continuing to learn. We had the. Uh, the visiting teachers come over and yeah, the uh, home teachers probably so you know I'm, I'm trying to learn more about it yeah. you know I, I'm not I'm still okay even though see, some things I don't quite understand I wanted to, to investigate it I wanted yeah. to actually research it and, and learn it and and live in the culture mm. uh, before I I abruptly said no, you know, yeah. I wanted to check it out. So did you study then and read things? I did read things um, um, but but that's that's kind of when things for me were a bigger question too. So you asked me about what didn't seem right, yeah. uh, and then so the other things that didn't seem quite right with me was baptisms for the dead. Oh. Um, to me, that seemed very uh, just spiritism, and it's just kind of kind of vague and and weird and 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 secret. Now, did you ever do it? I didn't. I did not. Well, Lisa did. Though, my wife said, did. But, yeah. yeah, my wife did. Um, no, but and, I didn't. And did you ever read the in First Corinthians fifteen twenty nine where it talks about baptism for the dead? It's the only reference, and yeah, it yeah, it is the only reference. And it's Paul not saying we do it. It's right. just why are you doing it? Exactly. You know, it's, 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 it's it was. Puzzling. I never understood that as a Mormon. I I kind of just accepted it that that was true. But that, that's the one verse that I think that I believe was manipulated to make you think that <laughs> that's supposed to be a commandment. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's but, not we're doing it, but uh, right. why are you doing it? Yeah, you, yeah. you know, so I decided to read the entire chapter and not just that it one. It explains and, it a little more. Right, it explains it a little more. That's yeah, right. in fact, it's actually about resurrection, that whole chapter. It, but uh, Right, exactly. <laughs> I think. Right. Not baptism. Right. So you had a few questions along the way. And Lisa, is she okay with everything in the church at, at this point? I mean, you know, she wanted, she wanted things to work out. Uh, yeah. She wanted us to uh, continue to progress, but she sure. never really was pushy with me. So, you know, I don't want people to think that yeah. you know, my wife made me do it. No, know? but did you did you raise any questions with her? I did, age? and you know, she she tried explaining to me, you know, what she had learned in seminary, and yeah. and she's like, well, if you want to learn more, that's kind of what you should go through. And I'm like, well, well, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I get taught that from the beginning? So, to me, that in itself was a little concerning to me yeah as you say they keep it very simple at the beginning right and, and very christian sounding I, I would guess that's right and but, so to me that was kind of a contrast between I mean, the bible's out there and it, of course you're not going to exhaust it you're always going to want to understand it but yeah. uh, it's all out there yeah. there's nothing secret or, or i mean certainly sacred but yeah. something secret about it right so interesting that we use similar words too don't you think uh, even god and grace and and that we use the same words both in mormonism and in christianity but they mean totally yeah that is funny what what i found more more entertaining actually is that uh, <laughs> that when i was a member um an active member the word god was not to be used no but, but currently it is used so Savior. Right, the Savior, Redeemer right? Or something. Yeah, uh, Heavenly Father, but right. but not the word not God, God. Yeah, yeah, because it was too sacred or something. <laughs> but now, I think it's out in the open, and you can say God. So that's also in, in Mormonism. You think? Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't notice it. I've only been out four years. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I noticed it. Have you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, anything else then that happens that kind of? Uh, 
Um, I mean, after this period of activity, then, and you're studying, did you just kind of quit going, or? That's, um, that's kind of when, that's kind of when we wanted to take a break, we wanted to quit going, where we weren't sure, uh, it just doesn't feel quite right, it's not. Is Lisa okay with this? Yeah, we were both kind of at the same, you know, we wanted to be good people, it's yeah. not like we, we went and did the other extreme and, and right. got lost in, right. in sin and the world, I mean, by our standards, I think, right. by God's standards, we're all sinners, right? <laughs> right. Uh, but it's not like we did that, we just wanted to take a break and, and uh, kind of, give give religion a break for a while yeah. and just live our lives with with you know our son who had just been born in 2002 and then i started just do my own thing okay well so what brings you around to be more religious i guess <laughs> uh, say again or to just well what what prompted you to start going to a christian church or, uh, or back um, to mormonism or what whatever happened next right so you know that's i I think the Lord, the Lord had plans for me, and I, um, even though I didn't want to do anything, and I wanted just to have <laughs> play, my job, <laughs> have my family, do my thing. Yeah. Um, the Lord um, used, you know, a situation in my life that, you know, you know, I, I got sick, um, mm. and uh, I, I went through, you know, anxiety and, yeah. and depression and and weight issues and, and just, you know, just not feeling right. I'm not feeling uh, very well at all, but um, it got so bad that, you know, I, I tried, you know, conventional medicine. I tried uh, homeopathic medicine, holistic, yeah. Chinese, everything. And, and the more I tried, the, the worse my health became. Like oh. my, my situation worsened. Wow. And so uh, the Lord just led me to a place where I was at the end of my rope, the end of myself. Oh. And I know where to go, you know. Um, and that's when I'm like, well, I've, I've, like Job, like I've heard of God, but I don't really know you, you know. And after the fact, then I would say, you know, exactly what Job said, right? <laughs> uh, but then that's when I, 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 I knocked on his door and and, uh, and I invited him to, to Lord, if, if if you're real, help me out. And and because I wasn't, I wasn't dying, but I was really sick and in bed, like yeah. missing work. Um, and doctors really couldn't explain exactly why I was sick or, you know, mm. my, 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 my illness. But uh, my wife can attest that I was pretty much, you know, almost bedridden for a few days. Wow. Um, not feeling really well at all. And I was afraid and um, I thought I was going to die. Wow. Well, was she concerned too, I'm sure. She was. Yeah. Yeah, she was. This was in December 2006. I'll never forget the day. Uh, well, hopefully one day I'll forget it. But yeah. December third, two thousand and six, I really thought I was going to die, wow. and so I, I called my friend Luis to come over, and I'm like, "Hey, pick me up, and you're either going to take me to the hospital, or because I think I'm dying and I'm going to die, um, wow. or maybe you can take me to this pastor's house." My mom knew, and so I went there first. I wanted to give God yeah. a chance because I had given everything else. A chance, right? I want a given religion. I had given all kinds of medicine a chance, and not that God couldn't use that, but I think He yeah. didn't want to use that. He yeah. wanted me to go to Him. Finally, finally come to Him. Yeah. What happened? So then, uh, you know, I, 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 you know, I, I, re I repent because we're, you know, I acknowledged there was sin in my life, and and you know, I, I knew that He died for me, and He died for for humanity and all of our sins, and. And I wanted to, you know, I was afraid of dying, you know. Yeah. I didn't want to die. I don't no. want to die. So I'm like, well, I know that you're the one that gives eternal life. So I invited him to my heart. And, and it became kind of a spiritual battle, right? Um, that, that's maybe a different story uh, for another day. But uh, that's so December 2006 is when I came to, to Christ. And, and I was starting to feel better. Like that December, I didn't feel well until it was like the end. Of December, yeah. So that's when I started walking with Christ. Well, explain to the audience what that meant in terms of having been uh, a Mormon. Mm -hmm. What do, what do you did you see a different Jesus? It, it just as a different feeling, a different sense of who He is. Yeah. So um, the Jesus of the Bible, you know, He in the Bible were 
it says all over the place that you know he's announced and then he then he comes and then he does all all the things that he's going to do for us on our behalf and then even later uh he's god yeah um he's he's a second person of the the trinity and that's not something that i had um, as an LDS, right. It was it was a different Jesus. Because he was our older brother, and right. He was, uh, I guess, I'll say merely the savior. Because yeah. I'll say merely because, in in contrast, being an LDS member, I wanted, you know, you could strive to be a god, even even beyond yeah. Jesus. Yeah, we we do our own work and become our own gods. Right. Yeah. And so one of the things that that uh, really, you know, I'm like, well. He's holy. He's three times holy. He's not, yes, he saved me, but he's not just the Savior. He's God. <laughs> he's, he's God, and, and he, did, he did it all for me. Yeah. And I don't have to do anything, and that doesn't mean my faith is dead. What it means is I don't have to do anything on my own, but rather I do things because I'm thankful and I want to please him and, and I want to honor him. Yeah. That's, that's really the pivotal difference. Yeah. Um, you know, we can we can get into more detail, <laughs> but that's essentially for me. I'm like, um, you know, Book of Mormon may ha may have similarities with the Bible because, after all, it's sort of based some, from it. Some, there are some parts, yeah, a lot of it in there. Uh, but uh, when you look at when you look at the LDS doctrine as a whole, and you look at okay, well, here's Christianity as a whole and the Bible, right? And you compare it, it's not really complementary to each other. It's actually contradicting yeah. to one another. Yeah. So one of them is right. <laughs> well, in Mormonism, you have to work for your salvation. And this relationship with Jesus, you trust him now because of what he did on the cross, right? Right. Yeah. I, I don't, you know, when I was um, an LDS member, I, I, it almost felt like I was in a company, like I had to perform well. Mm. To even to measure up to measure up yeah. to, to to get callings and to yeah. just progress. Well, now as you a know, Christian, it's... as a Christian, I'm just I'm I'm free to yeah. to honor him. I'm free to serve, and uh, but it's not like I have to. Yeah. But it's... You wrote something that I wanted to kind of quote here, if it's okay, just for a second. You wrote, "The LDS think that Christians are an abomination." that they're second-class religious people with hardly any conviction, any testimony, any mission, and that they're religiously uneducated. The LDS kind of have that view of, of Christians. What would you say to that? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of sad, you know, um, you know. Not that I mean to, to, to fight back or anything, right. but it, it, it's, it's fighting words is what it is. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really um, ignorance because... On the one side, oh, you know, as an LDS, we, we know it all. We know everything. Yeah, but you don't really know what the other side is uh, even all about. So yeah. why, not, why not investigate it? Yeah. I mean, when you go shopping and when you, when you delve into whatever enterprise or you, you buy a car or whatever, <laughs> buy a house or commit to anything, you study. <laughs> you study and research it, at least for the most part, you right. should. Right. And on this eternal thing, you know, you know why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not see what Christians are all about? Yeah. Did you understand grace as a LDS? Uh, well, Did it come out limited, I guess, yeah. a little bit. But you know, it, it's almost like there's not full forgiveness. No. Being in, being an LDS because things you do then thwart your progression later. Yeah. So well, then there's no true forgiveness. Then there, there's not full grace or You're not true grace. You're always striving. You never. Right. You're never at, f at peace. You're never at freedom because right. you don't. Right. You're trusting in what you're doing rather than what Jesus did. Right. And if you commit, you know, some some really bad sin, yeah. uh, or do a really bad thing, it could kind of yeah. hurt you eternally. So. So how was it going to a Christian church? Did you end up doing that? I guess. Yeah. You know, we, uh, my wife and I, and bef you know, before we actually went together, I I came to Christ first. Yeah. And we went. I went and visited some Spanish churches because I speak Spanish, and you know my mom and I. You know we spoke Spanish at home primarily, and so I wanted to check that out. And we went to different denominations, you would say, yeah. right? Um, 
and because I wanted to see, okay, I want to see, I want to find the most biblical place, <laughs> right? Or right. not, not the one that suits me better, but in the way, in the way, yes, yeah, they're right? teaching out of the Bible, and, right? Yeah. We, we wanted to be doctrinally sound, right. and you know, I wanted it to be biblical, and I wanted to have a good community as far as we have kids, you know, with yeah. um, so all those things. So we we shopped around for a while. Mm. Um, and we, we came across other, uh, you know, other denominations that weren't quite biblical, even though, so this is not just LDS, right? No, this, I, there I, are other denominations that claim Christian that are yeah. off Bible, off yeah. kilter a little bit yeah. too. So, But you found a church, you go to Lifeline. I go to Lifeline Community. Yeah. Um, been there since uh, July of 2009. Mm. And um, what do you notice different about the messages there, the to the messages at, in the LDS. And by the way, we're almost out of time, if you can believe it. Oh but, wow! <laughs> sorry, I could talk more. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but uh, um, no. Well, What's the difference in the messages? Well, the, well, the difference is, or I guess to dispel some 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 of the commentary from the LDS, um, our teachings are extremely educated, um, really well thought out, extremely biblical, and it looks at it holistically from God's point of view yeah. but it also applies to me individually and also corporately in the church um, and it's obviously biblical <laughs> right uh, which means it's about Jesus it's right? about Jesus where uh, I, th I th that's the sense I got and I'm now interrupting you sorry but nope. the okay. sense I got was that the Mormon message was more about temples and home teaching and tithing and what I had to be doing. Right. The focus um, the LDS have is unfortunately on the church, and which really means the organization, if you really want to look at Good it. Good point. Um, and also the temple, that was, that, that was also something that never really settled with me because in the Bible, the temple was torn, and he said that he was going to abide in the temple now made of man. Yeah. So and God which, doesn't dwell in temples made right. with hands. So, <laughs> you know, I, I'm happy and thankful that I'm the temple. And not a building. Yeah. You know? No, you're not that you're the temple of God. Right. Yeah. Well, you got, as I say, just a minute or two. What would you say to your friends or family that uh, has a um, message? Well, I'd, first of all, I'd, I want to tell you that that um, that I love you. That you know, I, my fellow believers love you, and we, you know, we understand you want to be good people. Um, and in a way, we appreciate that um, here locally. Uh, yeah, good culture. Good culture, really good community. Um, so, the, you know, some of those things that the LDS Church can offer are, are really good. Yeah. Um, I just, I guess my challenge and my encouragement to everyone um, still seeking Christ to find the right one. Um, don't, don't let a prophet or anybody tell you you can't research something, uh, can look into God in the Bible. and Give him a chance and, and he'll, he'll open your eyes and change your heart and... and He'll tell you. He'll show you um, that you were in a good counterfeit, and now you found the real truth. Julio, thanks so much for sharing your story. I appreciate it. And You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful story. We'll get to meet your wife soon, and so thanks for joining us. I feel like I only said half the things I wanted to know. I'm talking to my